Marco, firstly, just to reflect on our Premier League restart, it's three wins on the bounce, two clean sheets, six goals scored. I know you've said keep our feet on the ground, but you must be delighted with the way your team have restarted. Definitely. You know, what a restart for us. And uh, Nine points in three games, um, two of them away from home, two clean sheets away from home. And... All these things that they are, they are great feelings for us, and I think the players they, they have worked so hard to achieve it, and we we got the, the, the three wins in a different ways. That is a good thing as well, and uh, um, one at home until almost the last minute, and two away from home in a different ways as well. One performing at at very good level with a great team performance, the other um, with a great first half and not good se second half. But um, all the credits for the players. When you have a, a restart like, to, like we have had, and it's been really impressive for us, and uh, I'm pleased for it. And uh, the players they have been working so hard to achieve it, and of course we are pleased. I know the World Cup break wasn't much of a break for you. You had extended time to work with the players that were here still. Um, I guess that played that worked nicely in the end for you. And what do you put the main reason down to of why your team have come back so so well at the start? Yeah, it was really important. Of course, it was a, an unusual situation for all the clubs and for all of us. The first time that we, we had a break in, in the middle of the season. And um, of course, we were in a good form, even if the, the last two results before the break, they, were the, they weren't the best for us. Uh, the team were playing, uh, performing well. We're playing well. We were really unlucky to didn't get the the points in that two games against City and United. Um, of course, after we had a break, it was a tough one to lose that game against United at home last minute of the match. The players they didn't deserve it at all. I think we were the best team on the pitch in that in that evening at Cottage. And after they had a break, uh, deserve break because they 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 needed um, to rest and to to think and to enjoy some time with their families as well. And uh, after you, I have to say that we, apart from the six, they were in the World Cup and was a, a good moment for us because we were all together during eight days in, in Portugal, working hard, but at the same time enjoying the World Cup together, enjoying um, our their teammates playing as well. And of course, we are supporting them and each one supporting his country as well. I, I think it was a good moment. But at the same time, the players, they work really hard. That is the... That is the truth. It was a good and important moment for us to work in some principles, some basics again, um, to, to be assured that some of the players that they arrive late in this football club to have more time to adapt again and to to work in some important things that during the competition you you, you are not able because you don't have time to. And it was a, it was an important moment after with more three weeks at Mossos Park with some friendly matches as well. I think the players they were uh, with the right mindset again to work. It was a um, they were a very good four weeks for us and of course after when the, the six players they come back from the World Cup we were together again and what it was a, a, a very good restart for us because the players they prepare well well ourselves even most of them they arrive in a, in a good shape after the that small break that we we gave them and the, I have to give the credits to them since you've been here the squad overall have really upped their levels but the signings you've brought in have really hit the ground running as well. Jao Palinha has been nominated for Player of the Month. Bernd Leno was a brick wall on Tuesday night and William got the assist. I mean, you must be really happy with the way your signings have settled into your squad this season. Yes, it is, it's something that we, we are always trying to do uh, as better you can. Of course, we sign 10, 11 players. The number is big, of course, and we, we have to we try always to, to be assured that the 11, they come to add something for our club. Of course, some they were just... in come in the last days of, of the market. Sometimes you have to rush some decisions that you, have, you haven't planned, all these situations. You have different names probably come. But of course, uh, um, firstly, I said that the most important thing for us in, in the beginning of the season is to, um, to keep the, 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 the most important players from last season. Uh, the platform was here. I, I said from the first day that the, plaf the platform was here inside our football club. And we kept them, most of them, apart from two players that we, we sold, that we wanted them to, to stay, all the others that we, we kept them and we, it, we, it was a, a really important step for ourselves. And of course, we, have to, we knew that we have to add some different qualities, some different um, players as well from Premier League with maturity and experience at this level. And it was really important for us to, to get some, some of them and you got it. Um, some from abroad that they, they, with the different 
background and different knowledge as well that some some people that they were angry to come to Premier League as well and we we did it as well and of course is I'm pleased that some of them they settled really well they but the most important thing and I felt from the first day they were angry to come and to embrace the challenge with us this is the, the main thing even players that they come from different type of clubs and uh, uh, some they come from big clubs as well they were angry to come and to embrace the challenge with us and this it was really important and you know when you are angry to come or when your desire and your ambition is 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 there of course after if you have the quality the things are are, are easier up next, we travel to Hull in the FA Cup, a place you obviously know well, your first manager, management role in England. I know you're still held in high regard there. The, um, you obviously had success there. Uh, what are your memories of your time at Hull? Great, great memories. Um, it was my first Premier League club and it was the club that opened the, the door for me at, at, at Premier League. And uh, I know that the club now are, are different, um, different owners as well. And... Uh, all the situations, but my my connection with that football club was straight. I know that we made a huge impact in that football club, in the players, in the fans as well. But they, the fans, they they welcome us so so well. I think is all great memories. Of course, we we tried the club was in a difficult moment. We tried something that in in England some people start to talk at that moment about the miracle that we are trying to to do was um, we almost got it because it was. Um, so so important the way we we, we transform the club and the, the players and we create a, a great connection with the fans as well. But just good things to talk about the club, about the players that we have worked there uh, during that that period. And mo- most and uh, most important thing about the fans, they were unbelievable with us and always uh, will be a great moments. And to see some people will be special again, like was last season. Currently, they've just appointed a new manager in November, and since they've appointed him, the results have been picking up for them. So, what sort of a challenge are you expecting from them tomorrow? Tough one, and definitely they are in a much better level right now, performing better, um, getting better results. Um, for sure, they are going to play against Premier League club, and I know what what means for them for sure. Um, and it will be a tough one. Tough one. It's always tough to to play there. Now they're in better form since they change, um, well managed as well, and with uh, with good players, some that we know really well as well, and of course will be a tough game for us, and we have to to be aware of that. We are in a good momentum. We want to keep the momentum, but just um, if you perform well and if you go there, there with the same desire and ambition, you can win the game. Just finally, I'm obviously not going to ask you for your team lineup, but. Do you see this as a good opportunity to rotate players and give players minutes that might not get so many minutes in the Premier League? Firstly, um, we are in a really busy period and the, it's tough for us to understand how we are in a so busy period and you are going to play next Thursday and when they they have scheduled a, a game for us the next Thursday with another game on, 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 on Sunday as well. One will not make sense at all to have a game in the middle of the week right now when we have so busy period after the, the, the World Cup break. We have to take care of the players. I think it's a danger moment right now. Uh, you are seeing so many injuries in some in, in some players as well. Um, because the players that come from the World Cup and after nine days you play three games and of course you have the Cup now to play after another three, four days from the last Premier League match you have the FA Cup. And when you could have a normal week to prepare the Newcastle game and don't have this busy, busy period again, they have scheduled a, a game for us on Thursday. Um, and after even not 72 hours, we are going to play against Newcastle. It's something that's difficult for us to understand. Uh, how that is possible is, is, is really dangerous for the football players. But um, and answer direct to you, of course, we have to assess our players to think in this one but at the same time, thinking Thursday and, and, and Sunday as well. But we want to go through in the competition as well. Of course, we, we believe in our players. And of course, the, the 11 that is going to start again is the 11 that you think that is, is the best one to, to win the football match and to prepare the next ones as well.